Okay, how are you holding up? I'm fine. I'm just thinking about security. Security? For what? My dad, James, someone tried to kill him tonight. What if they try again? Sir, whoever did that would be stupid to try to get anytime soon. That guy shot at Lieutenant McBain. He's probably got the whole LPD coming down on him. You know, I, I bet he's learned his lesson, and he's probably holed up somewhere far away, licking his wounds. Hey, after what happened, I'm sure the cops have this place stacked with security to keep your dad safe. You're probably right, but I'm still going to call Taya and see if we can hire Sean anyway. But... Hey, when do you think they'll let us know about that? Well, they just started the surgery, so I'm sure there's nothing to report yet. Okay. And Danny and Taya are waiting at the OR. They're up there, and I'm sure they'll call as soon as they know something. Let us know. Okay, I'm gonna find Jack and Sam. You know what? There's no reason to wake Sam up from his sleepover just to scare him. Let's wait till we get more information on your dad, all right? Well, then I'll call Jack. I just tried him, and he's not answering his cell. Jack probably has his phone on vibrate. I'll just find him some other way. Where's Tomas? Did he leave? No, I'm sure he wouldn't leave without saying goodbye. He probably went to go check on Danny and Taya. No, 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 actually, I, I think I saw him right over there a couple minutes ago. Damn it. Oh, let me guess. Jack's not answering. Now, this is so like Jack to disappear at a time like this, and now I'm going to have to go find him. Great. Wait, I, I'm, I'm sure he'll turn up sooner or later, Star. Yeah, hours from now, or maybe tomorrow. But he needs to be here now, just in case... I don't know, maybe I'll go home and see if he's there. Whoa, hold on, don't you want to stay here? I mean, in case something happens with your dad? Like what? I don't know. I, I just mean if you're not here and then and, and something happens... James, my dad is going to be okay. Come on, Star. I saw how you were with Danny. How you took over and you kept her calm while she was losing it. Okay, I, I, I know you feel like you have to be strong for your family. I get it. I get it. But you don't have to be strong for me. Let me be strong for you. Uh, you must think that I am crazy. Why would I think you're crazy? For being so upset about my dad. I mean, you don't have to pretend for me either, James. I know what you probably think of him by now. Everybody hates him. He's horrible to anyone he's not related to. And sometimes he's even worse to the people that he is. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that. But there's... There's a good side to him. A really good side. And he doesn't show it to everyone. Mostly just his kids, but it's there. It's the side that jumps on beds and starts food fights and... Asks us for relationship advice and gives us nicknames. Nicknames? What's your nickname? I have two of them. Two? Shorty and a great one. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like you. He loves me. But I love him. And no matter what he does, he'll always be my dad. I'll never stop loving him. And James, I hope that you understand that. If you want to know the truth, Star, I don't. My dad didn't have a good side. He was just bad through and through. But I wish I had what you have. I do, I really do. And as long as your dad holds on to his good side, I'll never tell you to let him go. driving me crazy. Jack's messy? No, he's just not answering his phone, but he does it all the time when he's around his friends when he thinks it's uncool to get a call from his mom. You know what? Maybe we should call Aunt Dorian and get her secret service men on it or something. I'm sure they'd no, be able to I find him in no time. I don't think that'll be necessary. He may ignore our call, but you know what? He never ignores his dad. Go. Blair? 